Hey guys, welcome to another Multimedia Fun Times with John Hartley, and John Hartley is me. So today we'll be looking at how to set up and run WordPress locally. Along with After Effects, I work a lot with WordPress, and I had someone ask me, hey, how can I uh, efficiently work with WordPress on my local server? And so that's what I'll be showing you how to do today. If you came here for an After Effects tutorial, sorry, go ahead and click on one of my other videos. Uh, I'll put a link right here in the bottom to my latest After Effects tutorial, just in case you came here thinking that uh, MAMP was a After Effects thing. So moving on, uh, today we'll be downloading MAMP, which is Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And this will allow us to run PHP on our local server which in turn allows us to run WordPress on our local server. So go ahead and download MAMP. Uh, you'll just choose this one. Don't choose the blue one, that's MAMP Pro. And so go ahead and just click that to download. And as it starts to download, I will see you when that is finished. So congratulations, you finished the longest part of this tutorial, which is downloading the 116 megabytes of MAMP. So go ahead and uh, click to uninstall or unpackage the package, I guess I should say. Um, go ahead and double click MAMP.PKG and then just follow the install wizard. Agree, continue, agree. And installation type, okay. And that's kind of how it goes. I already have it installed on my computer. Uh, there's not really anything else left to do for the installation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up MAMP. So when MAMP opens up, it'll take you to this start page. And it says, welcome to MAMP. And so nice. Go down to MAMP and open that back up. You wanna make sure that Apache server and MySQL server are both lit up as green. And what you can do now is go to preferences and you can start to customize this. So start, stop, uh, it'll start up, you know, you can set these different settings however you want. Start page URL is just going to be, you know, what it is up here at localhost 8888 and slash MAMP. Ports, you can keep the same. If it looks different than this, you can just say reset MAMP ports. PHP, I updated to the latest version, which is 5.3.2. And then Apache, this is where you get to determine where your document root is. And so this is where it probably looks different for you right now. What you can do, and what I've done uh, to make this very easy on myself, is I put in users slash John B. Hartley, which is my username on my computer, slash sites. And so sites right here is where all of my PHP stuff is going to go. And so go ahead and set it just kind of like this or wherever you want to put it on your computer. Um, I'd recommend this because it's very easy to get to. Go ahead and hit OK. And then check to make sure Apache server and MySQL server are still green. All right, so now we are good to go. Go ahead and minimize that. Uh, we'll move that off to the side. Now we get to download and install WordPress. So go to wordpress.org, click download WordPress 3.3.1, which is the most recent version as I'm making this tutorial. And then click on download WordPress 3.3.1. So it downloads over here and it's gonna be a much smaller file size than MAMP was. All right, so now that it is finished downloading, go ahead and click. Uh, to unzip or however you do that on your version of your Mac. And so as it unarchives, it should now be here in my downloads folder. So I'm going to copy that folder. Then over in sites, I already have a few different versions of WordPress set up. Um, I'll paste that WordPress 3 in there. And I'm gonna rename that to test. All right, so I've set that to test. Here's all my WordPress content. And now we'll hop back over to that MAMP start page. Let's go to PHP My Admin. 
Now to get close to finishing this, we need to create a new database for our WordPress installation. Uh, so let's just go with test word, test WP and hit create. All right, so that is set up. There's nothing in there yet. So let's go back to our test installation. Go to wp-config-sample.php. Then go ahead and open with whatever text editor you choose to use. Uh, I'm going to use Sublime for this. And so now the main things you have to switch are the database name, which we just named as testwp, the username here, root is all we have to put, password here, root again, and that's really all you have to change. In most of my installations, I do like to have a debug file, and so I, I opened up a, a second WP config that I use um, on my other installations, and then these four lines right here, uh, I'm going to copy and come back over here, find define WP debug false, and paste those lines in. And I'll uh, link to my website and have this code there for you guys. So go ahead and let's see, we, we set everything up. I'll go ahead and save as, and save as wp-config.php. So now, take a look at your test folder again. You can see we have wp-config.php. And now what you should be able to do is type in localhost 88 slash test. And now we get to install WordPress. So site title, test site, username, whatever you want to choose, email, johnbharley at gmail.com. And privacy, it doesn't really matter because this is on your own local server. So you can go ahead and install WordPress. And let's log in. And, and there we go. Just to show you guys what's actually going on, here is our test site. And so this is all, again, just run locally off of our own server using MAMP. And to show you guys how much easier it is to edit themes uh, locally instead of you know, trying to do it on an, a live website, I'm going to just adjust 2011 uh, real quick. So header.php. Go ahead and open that up with Sublime. Yes, I want to open it. And we'll just change, let's see, get rid of all this header text and everything that's up there and just put an H1. Hello. And close that up, save it, refresh your page. And there you can see, hello. Granted, this isn't how you're going to want your site to look, but uh, it proves the point that I was trying to make that it is very easy to now refresh your page with, with every change you make. So that'll do it for this tutorial. Go ahead and click on the link to my website in the description, and I will have that debug uh, script there for you to copy and paste. And until next time, you know, let, let me know if you have any other ideas for WordPress tutorials or even After Effects tutorials, uh, you guys that stuck with it all the way through. And let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.